Yeah. Let's say you want to confirm a meeting. So you you manage to get a meeting with someone and you want to confirm it. And you sent an let's say you sent an uh did I open something? Yeah. So let's say this is your company. You manage to get a meeting with a customer or client. So this is your the client I mean. Client has an own company. Yeah, and you meet at their place. So technically this is you. You go to their place. Right? And you have special wishes or you have things in mind, you be like, okay, hey, I want to have this during the meeting or I want to give a presentation, all this stuff. So normally how does it go? Um, you have your website. People come and visit your website based on conversation or whatever. And then after the website, you have a call with them. And it's, let's say a conversation with them. They call you, you send them a quote or whatever. And this is the quote for the services and all the stuff. But it can also be that they have a problem and you talk with them on the phone, you make some notes and then you visit their place. So you visit the place and you want to give a presentation to show them, okay, this is how we are going to solve your problem. You understand? So this is, this is how we are going to solve your problem. Or this is your presentation. Yeah. What kind of email can you send them? It depends how your relationship is with the person. Seriously, it depends. But I'm going to show you an example of what you can send. So you can see, oh, I just have to keep it simple. As long as you keep something simple, it's good to go. And nowadays, you see when people have a meeting online, they keep it simple, straight to business, and they watch the time really when they're online. So let's look at an example of a template that you can send. And then I'm going to show you what you need to watch out for. So... Let's see, my keyboard's working, right? Yeah. So like I said, it's, if it's an email, you start with the subject. If it's a letter, formal letter, doesn't work. People don't use formal letter these days. Um, okay. We have the subject. I think this is too big. But it doesn't matter. I can make it smaller later. So subject. So when you send the email, you need to put subject in it. You can put it really simple. Um, this small letter, by the way, no. I, why do I have one? I look forward to meeting with you. That's how you can start. You don't have to use capital because when you contact with, the, when you have a um, conversation with this person, the person will know your email address, so it's easy to talk. Yeah. Okay. Why is it? Yeah, I don't want it like that. Okay, then you can start again with dear. Why is it highlighted? I don't want that. I only want this part highlighted. Not highlighted. Um, how do you call it? Bold. Yeah. Dear. And then you can start with the name. Yeah. And then. So let's say after a conversation on a phone, you can send them a letter like this. Following up on our phone conversation, I look forward to a meeting with you and your yeah, and your, and your partner or whatever, meeting with you. Let's keep it with that. 
yeah and then this is important the date because this is just to confirm the date most people want to confirm the date so they know okay nothing is wrong and where if you're at the place you say at the place yeah let's say you have some wishes um let's say you want them to arrange in a room for you so you can have a presentation you can say appreciate to have yeah I, don't know. I won't say that this I appreciate your arranging to have everything arranged in the conference room for me to use during the presentation what you need to keep in mind is most of the time if you talk with big companies they are in an um, in an office and they have a conference room and most of the time you need to prepare it and that's why the date here it's really important and where because then the person you're talking to they can arrange it in their company because most time it's the big company this is always occupy or sometimes they need to arrange it with the secretary so that's why they send the email here to be like okay can you arrange all the stuff on this date that's something you need to keep in mind yeah and most people that has experience in this knows okay you know what let them take care of that i don't need to take care about that but let's say you meet, do not meet inside their company but you meet outside and you need to take care of it then you can hire a place or office of a conference room um, i think in every city you have that option a lot of company offer that and then you hire a conference room and then you you yeah you arrange everything and it shouldn't be that expensive because most time these are a company costs and the company will pay for it but keep in mind this is really important when you meet with someone and especially if you need a room for presentation yeah that's why i'm telling this okay let's see so eo is saying okay you take care of everything because if you're meeting to where they are then it's better to let them take care of everything okay let's continue um and let's say you have a request you can just say um yeah on other request one other request do you think it's possible let's say you want to bring someone do you do you think it's possible to have let's say the name of the person that you want to inv invite attend as well yeah and then you can and then um you can give the reason let's say you have a company where you have two people need to sign the contract and the other person need to sign and you want to bring them along you can say okay um the reason you put it in here then since she or he i say she will be signing signing of the project doesn't matter what it is it's what well, well, i say it not ai it would be helpful wow oh. to have him no we have her we have her see my presentation station yeah so technically this is it simple nice 
um here most time in some of my thing videos i mean in some of the podcasts i talk about idiom but it's the right way to use um idiom touch base with you a few days before the meeting to recon yeah touch base idiom you can use it it's really nice so this technique is something that you can use um let's 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 copy something from the other one i don't like to do things double so we just copy this and we paste it here we already wrote it down so what you often see is that when i create something i'm not going to do it double but i'm just going to copy it and paste it so so we know so technically this is it sincerely your name company martis this is the ending maybe later when we create more documents we will adjust the ending but here we create a simple email now we're going to highlight the things that are important i don't remember if we did that in the last one but we're going to highlight the things that are important this document will be on a page by me coffee page if you are supported you can download it and, and use it so everything that we create during the live stream we'll put it there i have a dream that's all i need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen would be great